big ask this for Preston, who uh, have been struggling of late in the championship. They've lost four of their last five games, headed in by Potts, and it drops for Keane to have a go. Didn't really get hold of it there, Will Keane. They have to be strong defensively, but every now and again, test Chelsea up the other end. Mudrick, Sterling. Here's Parler getting involved. It's all a bit tight, all a bit congested in there. Fernandez with the challenge, and it drops for Sterling. Plenty of power, but it's a nice height for Woodman to uh, deal with there. Wonderful, strong challenge coming in here by Fernandez, and suddenly it opened up for Chelsea. Woodman equal to it. Gilchrist. Now Di Sassi, Fernandez, Palmer's made the run, he's got him behind Preston here, oh, and he's put it wide. He is the man in form for Chelsea at the moment, four goals in his last five games, timed the run brilliantly, lovely footwork here, but just the execution was wrong. Woodman was a spectator. Touch on from Potts, Osmajic in behind Chelsea. Oh, went for goal himself, comfortable save for Petrovic. Every now and again, Preston asking a few questions of their own. Madrid for Caicedo. Caicedo almost got in there. Half-hearted chance for a possible foul by Storey. Gusto. Opening goal, Chelsea. Armando Breuer in for Nicholas Jackson as the Senegalese joins up for the African Cup of Nations and Breuer times his leap to perfection. Found space and finds the back of the net. First goal in this game was always going to be ever so important. And here come Chelsea again. Mudrick. Twisting and turning. Boy, in again! And just over the crossbar. Almost two in two minutes for the Albanian. Palmer with this corner. Thiago Silva attacking it. And Chelsea have their second goal. The Brazilian has only been on the pitch for a few minutes. He's made a quick impression. It's a long way back from here for Preston now. Sterling to take. Oh, he caught it beautifully. Woodman couldn't get across in time. Sterling back on the score sheet, his first strike since November. Absolute precision. Breuer. Sterling. Breuer. In again. Around the keeper, and off the line from Hughes. Could have had a hat-trick today, Armando Breuer. Sterling, all about the shot. Back instead for Caicedo, still to score for Chelsea, the Ecuadorian. In for Sterling, and in from Enzo Fernandez, but the flag is up here. It was tight. VAR checking here, it looks as though Fernandez is on, played on by Liam Lindsay. He can smile, and Chelsea have a fourth, and they're through to round four, very comfortably in the end. An emphatic victory, Preston blown away in the second half. Chelsea four, Preston North End, nil. A deserved reputation as a, an artist at set pieces. John McGinn's there as well. And it's McGinn who plays it to Moreno. Tielemans! Well, he rather headed it down and missed what was a very presentable early opportunity here for Aston Villa. A 
it. A lot of thought went into the setup. Gallagher slipped. Here comes the corner. Getting involved again. Diaby deflected and in off Douglas Luis. I'm not sure that he's convinced that it is a goal because he would have known as we look at the VAR replay the ball did strike a hand no goal Sterling Enzo Fernandez Palmer's run and he said that Maduake kept out by Martinez Chelsea having a lot of the ball and now starting to make one or two chances. And this was a decent one for Madueke's skills. Longley. Pressed by Gallagher into a mistake. Palmer! Martinez there again. Well, Longley got away with this. Palmer stretching. And then you'd really fancy him to make the most of that mistake, but Martinez had other ideas. Sterling. It's a brilliant pass for Palmer. Well, it stayed out somehow. Madueke was coming in. Moreno with him. But the quality and the ball there from Raheem Sterling. And Palmer did his bit. It's still nil-nil. Last attack before half time in by Sterling. Batty a shield. Claimed by Emi Martinez, the busier of the two goalkeepers in this first half by a distance. Couldn't quite get the power he needed. Fernandez. Gallagher in behind. Palmer! Well, in the end, it was neither one thing or the other. Shot could have gone in directly or flicked in off friend or foe. But it just went on past the post. Here's Cash. And Moreno! The two fullbacks combining for Aston Villa. Just asked too much of. Alex Moreno from the marauding Matty Cash. Watkins under pressure. He's done brilliantly though, Ollie Watkins. And here is Cash. That's a superb stop by Jorge Petrovic. Maybe the save of the night, and there have been some good ones. Cash lined it up on the left foot, and the goalkeeper responded magnificently. And it's still nil-nil. In swinging corner, Petrovic gets some height to it, but not much distance. Konza! Well, it was always veering wide on a night of fine margins here at Stamford Bridge. Villa give the ball away, and there's plenty of uh, numbers getting forward for Chelsea again here with Jackson. Madueke. Gallagher! The first goal of the tie, and it's scored by Chelsea, and it's Conor Gallagher's first goal of the season, remarkably. It's good pressure, it's a very good start by Chelsea here. And when you are on top, it helps if you score, and they have done that. Really planted home by Conor Gallagher. Well, Villa looking to reply quickly in kind with Moreno. Tielemans is there, Bailey is there. Blocked by Baddy Shield. who makes a bit of a mess of it. Bailey again! Fortunately for Chelsea and Baddy Shield in particular, 
was straight at Petrovic, but it would have been an instant response. Now Watkins and Villa warming to their task. But they're a goal down. Difficult angle. Madueke. Again. Chelsea players flooding forward and Jackson scores a second. It's a wonderful cross by Gusto, the right back. And Jackson who missed a good headed chance at the weekend. And he came on as a substitute on his return from AFCON. He hasn't missed here. Put away in some style. 2 0. How do I get? Leaving Watkins and leaving Douglas Luis. Characteristic of this energetic first half from Chelsea. Palmer. Let's fly. Parried by Martinez. And away by Cash. That sums up the difference between the two sides at the moment. Barnstorming break from those in blue. Palmer on target, but Martinez came up with the answer this time. And that's a foul throw by Chilwell. And a second to go before half time, and it could cost Chelsea because Ollie Watkins is away. And now McGinn! Keep it down. It was uh, touched over. So Enzo Fernandez, who made a, a real impression of Benfica in his short time there with his free kicks, and he's made a massive impression here. That is world class. And he's beaten his fellow World Cup winner, Emmy Martinez, with an absolutely Brilliant delivery from a dead ball, and it's 3 0. Diaby. Bailey. Now Cash. And here's the other fullback. Moreno! Just too high. Very few clear-cut chances, Aston Villa. Douglas Luiz. Ramsey. And now Diaby. Well, they have got a goal. Chelsea have lost their clean sheet, but surely they've not lost the tie. They're through to the fifth round. 3-1. Petrovic saw it but couldn't keep it out. It was right in off the post. Moreno. They get another one. Hiravunam's up. Playing from the back comes with inherent risk. Well, they've just got themselves in trouble. There was a little bit of this on Sunday where just they didn't feel comfortable with the ball. What a mistake. It's Disassi with it. Doesn't really pass the ball into Casado's safe side. There's lots of pressure from Leeds that there has been all game. They've really pressed well from the front. Nipped in. Really good interception. And then a simple finish, really, for Matteo Joseph to get his first goal. What a moment for him, the young centre forward. Only on the left, Mudrik playing a much more central role. And trying to force a shot through Enzo Fernandez, who can hit them much better than that. Fernandez. Caicedo. And this is how probably Leeds expect the game to be played. Need to make sure there are no gaps. And there is a gap. And Nicholas Jackson has found it. And that's just what. Pochettino ordered get back on the front foot and wipe out that error and it hasn't taken too long well there's a lot of talk about the chances that he misses 
but uh, he's certainly capable of finding the back of the net. Well, as Chelsea put in a good passing move together, lovely movement off the ball. And Roden did well, uh, I think the free kick would have been given, but he still had the ball. And they're giving it away for Fernandes, who can crack them from that distance. Fumbled by Melier, but no one following in. He's in that number 10 position, but you're right, he hasn't really got on the ball yet, has he? Chelsea have started to really dominate possession now. Gusto and an early cross. Mudrick's fastened onto it with speed. He does pretty much everything with speed, and the speed of the shot doesn't quite get the better of Melier. Mudrick again. And Anthony and Mudrick involved again on the set piece. by Anthony Gusto in from Sterling a deep one and that okay reacted a bit quicker than the Leeds players did and nearly got a full reward for it and space for Madueke between the lines and this uh, Chelsea pressure starting to pick some holes in Leeds and Mudrick just like that well, he's been in the game, he's probably had one of his best spells in a Chelsea shirt. Starting tonight and turning a 1-0 deficit into a 2-1 lead for Chelsea. Snappy finish from a player who's showing the better side of his game, Matt. Yeah, of all the players on the pitch tonight, he's the player that needs this goal. Absolutely, at home, in front of the supporters, and it's a good goal as well, really well worked. Gets the ball wide, Madueke, it comes into Sterling, and this is lovely awareness, and the movement across the face of Ampadu is really good, and it's a lovely measured finish, doesn't snatch at it at all. I think they're much better once they've got the ball into the midfield or wide areas, but building out from the back, they, they struggle to do that, Chelsea. Oh, it's a decent try for 2-2 from Jaden Anthony. They seem to be playing most of their youth team in the first team tonight against Southampton in the, the big trophy. In from Anthony, he's got another one. Wow, what a night. Steaming in, Matteo Joseph, right place, right time. He put them in front, now he's drawn them level. It did look as though it was coming, Matt. Absolutely, it has been building. I'm here, he's saying to the Leeds fans, and rightly so, you are here. Piru. Piru goes on the overlap, Anthony spinning, and Sanchez hadn't been committed. That's Stamford Bridge tonight. This is the young man who's played such a major part in it. Matteo Joseph, Anthony, oh, a slip, and Anthony goes on, and there was... Fernandez. Mut Gallagher, it's Gallagher who's won it for Chelsea. Conor Gallagher, who suddenly found his scoring touch since the turn of the year. He took it in his stride made the space for himself and planted Chelsea into a 3-2 lead. Well, there's your one big moment, Matt Upson. Well, you said that moments win football matches, Martin. Well, that's Conor Gallagher's moment and Chelsea's moment. We knew there was going to be one coming and this is it. Chelsea working the ball, Leeds have just dropped off a little bit too deep. Firpo comes in, makes half a challenge but the awareness for Gallagher to know where the space is, he's been really good at that since he's been on the pitch, knowing where that first touch has to go to into the space, takes it brilliantly. And then I think there's a slight deflection on the shot through, but is in such close range, he's just got to hit the target. And the ball just skims off the toe of the defender, really gives Melier absolutely no chance, but Chelsea look like they're going to see it over the line. So it's Mikhailo Mudrik here to take this early corner for Chelsea. The flick on by Palmer. 
Oh, and so close to sneaking in at the far post. May even have clipped the post as it was flicked up into the air over Doyle's head. Let's just have a look at this. Yep, bouncing back into play. For Tawu now, for Leicester City. And still, and he just loses his way once again, enabling Gallagher to collect possession. Here's Palmer. And now Jackson. Faced by Vestergaard. The searing pace of Jackson takes him through. Cucurella can't miss, and he does it. Perfect start for Chelsea. Mark Cucurella's first goal for the club. And he could hardly miss. Jackson backed himself here in a sprint against Yannick Vestergaard. It was no contest. And look at Cucurella completely unmarked. Chelsea lead Leicester by one goal to nil. Asserting early authority on the tie. Palmer. His gusto is absolutely full of running. Now Sterling, good chance, oh, for Toa with the challenge. Referee Andy Madley didn't like that at all, it's a penalty kick. Abdul Fatawu denying Raheem Sterling the shot on goal here with this challenge. And Raheem Sterling now 25 minutes in with a golden opportunity to give Chelsea a 2-0 lead. Can he take it? Oh, it's saved! Wasn't a great penalty, but a good start by Stolarczyk. Low and saveable, and then wide off the boot of Jackson. And Chelsea spurn a great chance to go two up. Decent stop by the keeper, but not a great penalty. Sanchez into Jackson. Here's Caicedo. Oh, there's a lovely flow about this, and it's Sterling. Great chance for 2 0, and it's wide and wide by some margin. Super move from Chelsea, beautifully timed run from Raheem Sterling, everything was great about it until the final shot. Mudrick's header, here's Sterling, right at the end of the first half here, into Palmer, now it's 2-0. And credit Sterling there because it's moments after that big miss. But here he steals in, skips clear sees everyone around him and puts it on a plate for Cole Palmer. 2-0 Chelsea on the stroke of half-time and suddenly they have elbow room and Leicester have got it all to do. Well, Augusto with the throw here as Daka comes in on uh, De Sassi. Oh, he's caught Sanchez! And from absolutely nothing, Leicester City are on the board. De Sassi put under pressure, Sanchez nowhere near it, it's 2-1, and Leicester City are back in this cup tie. From absolutely nowhere. Caicedo, picking up Gallagher here. This is Moises Caicedo, good sharp save by Jakob Stolacic. Set up by Conor Gallagher, good shot, equally fine stop. It's got a very different feel about it now, this FA Cup tie, Leicester City up and about, fancying their chances. Here's Steffi Mavididi with a chance to run at Malo Gusto and leave him behind, and Mavididi, oh, what a goal! What a goal from Steffi Mavididi! It's absolutely brilliant, and it means Leicester City are level at Stamford Bridge. Mavididi take about 2 2. Chelsea is stunned. Two up at the break, they were coasting. They're not coasting any longer. It is a wonderful individual goal. Sterling away from Wout Fars. What a glorious turn there by Nicholas Jackson.
Hudson Doyle comes across, he's down, it's a penalty. Second penalty of the afternoon for Chelsea. Yellow card for Callum Doyle. They're checking on VAR here. Look at that, what a turn there by Nicholas Jackson. And the challenge looks to be just outside the box. And there's the confirmation. Outside the penalty area. They're waiting for confirmation. And what it means is Leicester won't be facing a penalty. But also, on the other hand, it means for the denial of that clear goal-scoring opportunity, Callum Doyle is shown a red card. Leicester down to 10. Gallagher, Chelsea probing, pressing. Gusto sends it across. Madueke denied and Chowdhury away. Good save, Jakob Stolacek. Gusto whipping it across. Madueke. Moni Madueke once more. Gusto faced by Dewsbury Hall. In it goes. Here's Jackson. Well, extra time looking ever more likely here as these two teams tussle. Gallagher. Here's Carney Chukwemeka. He'll take the return. Great chance. Oh, Chelsea back in front. In added time. Just as extra time was looming large. Carney Chukwemeka, who's only been on the field for a few minutes. What a delicious combination that was with Cole Palmer. 3-2 Chelsea against the 10 men of Leicester. Here comes Gusto. I'm not sure Chelsea, I'm not sure Leicester will have the chance to get up the other end of the field. Here's Madueke still. Oh, it's another one. Individual brilliance from Noni Madueke. Set up by... Gusto, lovely close control and skill, and then the looping, curling finish into the back of the net. Chelsea 4, Leicester City 2, and it is Chelsea going through to the semi-finals of the FA Cup.